I just sold my little car of seven years. Try to haggle some car salesmen. It's in getting house. real. Such a good feeling. Never did I think that anytime soon I would have a car giving me a massage. Are you love my new car? It was the cringiest that phone call. Watch these seats. Guys, we're going to fuck the wings. Finally got my mom car. So happy. Kia's last drive. Got the kids, got the boys, got our fun lights on. Got your guns. You're taking your guns to the bank? Yeah. You're crazy. You guys, I'm so glad my wife's getting a new car. Super fun to see just Morgan's excitement level the last two days. She hasn't had a new car in a while. I'm happy that times are good right now and that we can give her the opportunity to get a mom car. It's truly has been so fun uh, test driving. We're looking at the two Fords. She doesn't know I'm filming this right now, but just to see her super excited and looking forward to something is really cool to watch. Well, we're selling her Kia today. It's the last ride she'll take in it. And uh, we're gonna go Try to haggle some car salesmen and get this Ford Explorer for the best price we can. Morgan, I love you and good for you. I'm glad you're getting a new car. I'm excited. I'm excited that you're excited. Love you, babe. We're going to the credit union now to say goodbye to Kia. It's a big day. It's a big day that kind of like happened unexpectedly. So I just sold my little car of seven years i had the little kia optima for seven years and we just sold her she drove off she's gone this was kind of unexpected but i've been wanting a mom car for a long time now because you guys saw my vlogs like it would just be me and the two boys in the back and we didn't have the most room just low key optima but she was great was i loved that car it, it was, was just time, time. For you to upgrade you right. deserve it you deserve Thanks, an upgrade honey. The other day, we've been talking about it for a while, but we're like, no, we're just gonna wait. Like, we'll just see how it goes. Like, you know, just weren't ever super serious about it. And then Sunday, which was only what, five days ago? Today's Friday. How many days is that? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Five days, yeah, five days. Um, five days ago, we drove by a Ford lot and I saw an Explorer, a Ford Explorer sitting there. I was like, oh, that's cute. And I looked it up when we went to go eat lunch at Mod Pizza and we were like kind of talking about it. And I was like, oh, like this is a really fair price. It has everything I need. It's a, like, it's big, it's really good. And so we kind of started talking about it because I was really interested in a Jeep Cherokee. That's like for the past few years now, I've just wanted a Jeep. And Logan's like, you're kind of just paying for the name for a Jeep. And then once I saw this Explorer, I was like, okay, it has the third row. It had everything I needed. We um, started looking more online and right here in our town, we had these two options of Ford Explorers. I really liked the Ford Explorer and I was pretty set on it. We did do some looking at like Honda Pilots, um, what else, honey? Chevy Traverse. We looked at a VW Atlas for oh, yeah. a second. Oh yeah, we did test drive a Volkswagen Atlas. I didn't love it. I didn't love the Volkswagen feel. It just didn't feel comfortable. We were kind of just set on like this Explorer. We drove it. No, we were set on another Explorer. Right, well yes, because I said there were two. We just pulled back up to the dealership, so I'll have to fill you guys. You can stay here. I'm just gonna go buy your car real quick, okay? <laughs> Let me pause the story and I'll tell you about like our competition with the two Ford Explorers. I'll fill you guys in more. We're in the it's getting seat. real. This is the hot seat. It's getting real, guys. We're in the dealership. I'm feeling good about things. I think the manager recognizes me from my job. Watches our YouTube So he'll give us a deal. I think he said free. Sorry, guys. We had to go run back in the dealer and finish all that up. But such a good feeling. We got the keys. So we got the fam loaded in now. Hi, are you mama's new car? We still gotta adjust our seats a little bit, but um, there's Beck. He passed out. Dad's driving. We're going for a little family drive. Cruise, we got the car seats in now. Got the car seats in. Hi, Bubba. But this is what we chose, and I'm gonna tell you guys more about it in just a bit. We're gonna go cruise for a minute. Okay, long story short, this is the car that caught my eye on Sunday. I saw it in the lot, started looking it up. You guys heard all that. Then we went and like drove through and then there was another one. This is the 2017, there was another one, a 2018. And we kind of looked at that one and it had black leather and less miles. 
And so at first, my little heart and mind was set on that one. We only test yeah. drove that one. That one was an XLT. This is a limited, so this has quite a few more options. Right, so an XLT is more like the base. Like it still had leather. I mean, it still had everything. It was great. It had heated everything, seat, steering wheel. And the funny thing is, when I found out that this one had the brown leather, I looked at the pictures and I was like, absolutely not. I could not go for the brown leather. It looked, the pictures were really bad though because it looked like a yellow. It was just very weird looking and I was like, absolutely not. I just like can't get used to that color and I wanna have this car and like it for a long time. And so we really had our heart set and we're like, okay, let's get the car listed. Like, let's clean out your car. The main reason we were in a rush is because um, Logan leaves to Utah on Monday and then me and Kaylee will go on Friday next week. It's the Big Hunt Expo. And so Logan's gonna be gone all week and I'm like, what if that Explorer is gone in a week? We went back a couple times and then Logan's like, let's just look in the 2017. And it was unlocked and we peeked our heads in and we're like, wow, it felt really clean. The leather and like the interior I felt was cleaner and in better shape than the 2018 with the black right. leathers. And then we found out this one, like so many more of the nice amenities. So we're like, okay, that's kind of catchy. I really like got used to this color. I think I like it. Actually, I know I like it. Like it's, it's grown like, on me a lot. I like it more than the black. Which you is, do? That was so bad. We just had the most awkward conversation. Somebody just yeah. called me um, from the other dealership where we drove the Volkswagen. It was the cringiest that, phone call. You guys, and we wouldn't ever say that been to a be part of. That was seriously, I felt sick to my stomach, it was so awkward. I just kept looking at Logan like- I didn't, I wanted you to take weird. it off speakerphone. I should have recorded it, but someone called me, so I stopped filming, but anyways, he knew we were going weird, to Utah, and weird. he's like, how's your trip preparation going? And we're like, good. He's like, are you excited? And just the way he was talking, and the then- The pauses were ridiculous. <laughs> the pauses were so uncomfortable. He said, um, did you get a chance to look on our website? And I was like, you know what? We actually bought a car today from Ford. We never promised me anything. Either, no, so he no. showed us one car and I told him he did not like it. But it, it just like kept going on and we're like, we bought a car. And he's like, that's the only one for you, huh? And I was like, yep, it just fit our family. We loved it. It was quiet for a long time and he ended the conversation with, hope to hear from you soon. Yeah. What? <laughs> I just think he didn't even know what to say at that I don't point. even know if I can get my truck oil it changed was there just, anymore. It was just so awkward. <laughs> it was bad. Anyways, it just came down to this one. We liked the amenities and I was like, okay, I like, I like the brown leather. We figured that we have two golden dogs and the black gets super hot. So it's like you get brown leather, yeah. so it's not quite as hot. Right. And the dog's hair, or like scruffs and like scratches, are yeah. probably not quite as noticeable scruffs. on a sc scrape, scruff, scratches. Scuffs. There's no R in scuffs. Scuffs. Well, he's been I just a lot of funny things lately. I always just combine or like switch around words. Mentioned the other day you said let's go make sure there's tires in the air. <laughs> let's go let's go fill the air with tires. I'm a tired mother, okay. It's <laughs> like what? Anyways. This thing has paddle shifters too, you guys. Nobody cool. uses those. <laughs> Brooks got a new car seat. Brooks is in his out. brand new car seat. Let's extend to fit. We did like the third row. We can put the um seats down and the dogs have plenty of room. We can take my mom and sister places with us. And I just have to say, if you're a local, go to Courtesy Ford because they are not awkward. And they made the whole car buying process so painless, so easy, like quick. We were done in like by an hour and a half. Some experiences we've had, like when I bought my truck, it was like it was that. long it was there for like five hours. I think everyone can relate to like the long car buying process, but oh my gosh, if you're local, go to Ford, tell John that we sent you because he was awesome. They just fit our needs so well. And we were in and out of there. We got the keys. Thank you guys, we're going to Buffalo Wild Wings. I'll show you a little bit more of the car later on. We'll go through like a little, detailed thing of it. So I'll show you guys more later. All right, a little bit later. It has been almost a week now since we have owned the new car. So I've got to drive it more and figure out all of the functions that it does. I'm still trying to figure out some things, but I thought I would just show you guys 
the inside of the car. Still absolutely love it though. It is such a huge upgrade from what I was driving, so I love it. But even besides that, like it's just such a comfortable car and it just drives so well and we have loved it. Logan even made a really funny comment. He's like, what if I sold my truck? And I was like, what would you get, another truck? And he's like, what if I got the other Ford Explorer? He's like, I think I might like driving this better than my truck. It really is like so nice to drive though. It's so smooth and um, it's been freezing here in Idaho. Like I'm talking negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit the past two days, like they've had to cancel school. It's been super icy. So we've really been able to put this thing to the test for the four wheel drive. Logan was purposely trying to make it slide in a safe way, in a safe zone. Um, but the thing does not slide like the four wheel is incredible I'll kind of show you guys the different um, modes that it has but it does not slide the brakes are so reactive and it's it's just amazing so I'll show you guys a little bit more about it I don't even know where to begin so I'll just tell you guys a few of my favorite functions this is what my dash looks like right here the intelligent four-wheel drive like I said is so nice it also does have the lane assist thing which I have not even attempted to do yet but it helps keep you in your lane I guess so it's got a really nice Sony speaker sound system the climate you can control the rear um, yeah, I mean that's pretty basic. I do have my heated steering wheel, which is so nice it's such a game changer right now when it's so cold We also do have air-conditioned seats and heated seats for both driver and passenger side all of my phone is synced to the car apps. Let's go to settings this car does have Wi-Fi. It also has the Apple CarPlay, which is pretty cool if you guys have never seen this. This screen turns into your cell phone. Like everything, it looks exactly like your phone. It's pretty cool. Let's see what else. What else have I played with? Oh my gosh, this is crazy, you guys. Multi-contour seats, but also these massage. <laughs> Turn it on high. And now my car is massaging me and it feels really weird on my butt. <laughs> Never did I think that anytime soon I would have a car giving me a massage. Kind of bougie, but it's cool. It's also got a front camera so you can see what's in front of you and then also like your side views. So that's pretty cool. And then of course in reverse, I also have the backup cam. Anyways, those are pretty self-explanatory on there. A few little extra things that are kind of fun and then the rest of my console right here. And then this one is like your different modes. And then just my big um, big console in the middle, some air fresheners and Febreze on the go. Here are the side mirrors. These are super nice. They have the blind spot on them. So if someone's in your blind spot, it lights up, which is amazing. And then um, these go in and out like that. And then I do love it because when I get out and lock my car, it closes my mirrors automatically, which is really nice. This one also has the sensors on the outside of the car, so if you're too close to something, it's always beeping at me when I'm pulling in my garage, telling me if I'm too close to one side or the other, or um, the front or the back too. But the one thing that I really wanted that it doesn't have, no sunroof. I was kind of bummed. I just wanted a sunroof so bad. I love the natural light, but that's okay, I will live. I just opened Beckham's side. And of course, the first thing I see is sticky sucker on the brand new car. Back here, they also have their own controls and more battery outlets in here. I would have loved to get the one with the captain's chairs instead of the bench because if it were up to me, this whole middle piece would just be gone because then it's so much easier for people to climb in and out of the back. Um, but we do have the bench right here. Okay, so here's Brooke's side. He has plenty of room between here. I can't even show you how these seats flip up and down because the car seats, I'm not gonna take them in and out. You can fold them all the way down and then all the way forward so people can climb in and out really easily just with this lever. Um, so let's move to the back really quick. Automatic back, which is going to be a game changer. That is so nice. So as you can see right now, we have the third row laid totally flat. We usually won't have anyone riding back here. So I'm gonna take the stroller out. But as you can see, like super, super spacious. And there's without the stroller in, so, so much room. And then these buttons here on the side, one of the reasons why I had to have this one. So with the touch of a button, watch these seats. Isn't that amazing? You've got the deeper space down here. And then you can also fold them. 
So they sit that way and you have even more room right here in that back part. Press of a button and it closes for you. I know I'm gonna miss probably quite a few things because I'm not that tech savvy when it comes to vehicles and I don't know what all this means yet. I'm just figuring it out, but I love it. It has everything I need and more. That's my car though. Finally got my mom car. I'm so happy. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Have a great day and we will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.